Hey what's up guys, welcome back to the mobile game tutorial. So in the last episode we tackled movement and also the uh, the camera rotation around the player. So we're gonna keep going with the camera a little bit during this episode but I'd just like to say one thing before we get started. Is um, right after this video, like shortly after, I will also release another tutorial which is going to be a tutorial of something like 11.5 which is going to be for people who want a free camera. So I've seen in the comment that people would like to be able to move the camera with say another joystick. That's what I'll be doing in the next one. But uh, for this tutorial, I'll just be implementing my own uh, four axis camera like this. And I will add the swipe movement. So whenever you swipe anywhere in the screen really, you're gonna be able to uh, do the exact same thing we're doing but with the arrow keys right now. So let's go ahead and, and first off, something um, we need to do right now because I've just been, I haven't been doing it. So uh, let, let's clean up our project a little bit. So see, we've made these four script. Let's actually simply drag and drop them inside of the script folder so it doesn't uh, take too much space. And we've also created a uh, material folder. So I'm going to drag and drop my player material in here. All right. So now that this is done, uh, let's go ahead and open up our camera mother script. And if you remember uh, what I've said uh, last episode, I believe, is um, the input.getMouse button pretty much acts the same exact way as uh, a touchpad on a device. So basically we could be coding, we could be creating some kind of swipe mechanic for our mouse and actually it would work in um, a device as well. So that's what we're gonna do right here actually let's go up here and declare ourselves a uh, new vector 2 so private vector 2 and this is going to be the touch boss or touch position if you prefer now I'm also going to add another field just below that it's going to be a float and this one is going to be the swipe resistance and I'll be putting that at something like 200 for now of course you'll be able to play with this value to see what you like the best okay now the rest is fairly simple, so in theory all we have to do is whenever we press on the mouse button, whenever we get the input.getMouseButton down event, we need to record the position we're actually at uh, with, our mouse, uh, with our mouse cursor. So we're going to do that right here actually in the update, because we're going to be testing this uh, every single frame of course. So after our um, keyboard input, because I'm going to leave them there. After our keyboard input, let's actually put if input.getMouseButton down, don't forget the down keyword, we're gonna get the mouse button index zero. This is the left click, which will also act as um, the first touch on a device, I believe. So uh, you could have like multiple touch on a device. You could be putting two finger at the same time. And I, I believe that the second finger would be recorded as a mouse button one. So I'm not quite sure on this yet. So uh, say we're actually moving the player using the joystick on the left. That's our first finger. So that would be get mouse button at the index zero. Now I think that uh, if you actually put your second finger down, it would be recorded as index one. So just to make sure that uh, this doesn't mess up our script, let's, let's actually add a or statement. And uh, mine's not working right here. For some reason, I'm unable to do the OR operator, so every time I want to do it, I have to copy it from, from somewhere else. That's just a French keyboard layout, I guess. Okay, so we're going to do if input get mouse button down, uh, index 0, or input get mouse button down at the index 1, that would be the uh, right click on your normal mouse. Then if that happens, let's go ahead and say uh, touch position, so touch position is equal to input dot get mouse. Oh, actually, it's not that input dot mouse position, which will return us a vector two, I believe. No, actually, it's returning a vector three, but that that's not a problem because uh, there's a cast in between these two, and it's simply going to truncate the other value. Okay, so if that happens, if we press somewhere on the screen with either mouse buttons then we'll record the position where we're actually clicking. And now we're gonna do another if statement. So if we get the mouse button up, so now we're looking for the up event. Do the exact same thing over here. So basically this is when you 
um, press when you first press and this is when you release so whenever we release we're actually going to do some um, some little mathematics here so let's go ahead and declare ourselves a float that we'll call force no I mean swipe force <laughs> and that's going to equal say um, touch position dot x so wherever in x we were minus input dot get not get I mean input dot mouse position dot x so I'm only going to, to uh, test my swipe on the x-axis because I only want to be able to rotate my camera so I don't really need the y-axis um, and I'm basically only testing if there is a swipe on left to right. Okay, so um, now we're taking this value we get and we're gonna do if mathf.absolute so this is going to return us the absolute uh, number we're gonna get out of the next equation actually no not, not out of the next uh, it's going to return us the absolute of swipe force so that means if touch position is bigger than mouse position dot x which would mean uh, we're swiping towards the left now if that's the case then we're gonna get a negative value inside of swipe force so that's why I'm doing mathf dot absolute because even if it's negative it's going to be it's going to transform into uh, a positive value so if that positive value is bigger than swipe resistance that means we successfully uh, had a swipe. So now all we have to do is check uh, in which direction are you actually swiping. And like I've said before, if we're, swipe if we're swiping towards the left, this value here is going to be negative. So let's actually use that to test against, um, to test which direction you're swiping in. So we're gonna do if swipe force is smaller than zero, then let's go ahead, well first this means that we're swiping towards the left so so if we're swiping towards the left let's do slide camera and send the through value because if you remember correctly the parameter we have to send is a boolean and it's called left so uh, are we swiping left? yep so that's true else we are simply going to swipe I mean slide right oops I'm being a little bit confused so slide camera false all right, so that's uh, actually, I think that's going to be it. All right, so let's actually try it out in game. I am not going to be using my keyboard at all, so only the mouse. And as you can see, this works, that's normal. Let's actually try swiping. Just a small swipe like this, nothing's going to happen. But what if we break the swipe resistance? As you can tell, now this works. And let's actually try swiping on the other side. So from right to left and this also works so that's exactly the behavior we wanted and that's what I'm going to be rolling with for the rest of the tutorial guys but like I've said before I'm actually making another tutorial right after this one um, which is going to be a free camera so we're going to have another joystick on the screen and um, we're going to be able to control a camera in third person um, of course after this tutorial after the next one actually I'll remove that and I'll put this setup that I have right here back on my game but I'm just doing this for people that want to have a free camera I've seen that uh, people wanted that in the comments so that's what I'm going to be making next so guys thanks again for watching if you enjoyed this video if you learned something please leave me a like I really appreciate it and if you have any question or comment please leave them in the comment section below I'll try to answer as soon as possible alright so go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already we're gonna be making this game quite nice in uh, the next next week I guess I think we can end it another week or maybe two week max um yeah so guys thanks again for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next episode